Hey guys, you're on Views the channel, an SMM panel that helps to promote your social media profiles. My name is Diana and today we're focusing on the tool that is offered by YouTube, YouTube Analytics. It is a fact that more and more people start to join YouTube and profit from their content. You can clearly see that. But how can one understand whether their content posting is efficient? Actually, YouTube offers its users a special tool that will definitely help a user to understand their channel dynamics better, especially what has to be improved. In this video, we will be focusing on what YouTube Analytics is exactly, its main parameters and features, and what should be taken into consideration by content makers. Let's start from what YouTube Analytics really is as a service offered by the platform. This tool is necessary for better understanding of what needs to be improved and what are the indicators to pay attention to. The aim of YouTube Analytics is to analyze a channel's statistics and also the statistics of each video that was posted. You'll be able to see your most popular videos, how many people watch your video material, for how long, the overall number of likes and dislikes, and so on. Clearly, with this analysis, you'll get a fuller understanding of your audience, which is important for a channel promotion. What do you actually need to do to see this data? Well, in this case, we highly advise you to use YouTube Analytics on your computer for better understanding of the information that you'll get to see, including graphs and charts as well. Moreover, it should be noted that some reports are not available on mobile devices. So let's start. Firstly, you need to log into YouTube Studio and then select Analytics. You'll see that on the left menu. Or you can do it this way. Again, sign in to YouTube Studio, but click on the left menu, choose Content instead. This way, you'll get to see the statistics of your videos and important reports about your content. What you need to do next is to click on one of the videos and choose Analytics. Now we're ready to talk about metrics in detail. In general, there are only five metrics, and now we'll tell you what they actually mean and what indicators they can show you. The tool offers different metrics, then a thorough analysis of a channel's indicator needs to be done. Let's look at them and see what each indicator encompasses. The first tab is called Overview. In this tab, you'll get a chance to see how both your videos and channel are performing in general. Here you see all the details about views, subscriptions, and estimated revenue that will be available if you're in the partner program, and overall watch time. In this tab, four main indicators are presented as well. You'll get to see what are your top videos that are recent and ranked by views. Then you'll see real-time that is connected with channel's performance either over the last 60 minutes or 48 hours. Next indicator, latest videos. Here the performance of your 10 latest videos is shown. And lastly, stories. In stories section, you'll see the data of your latest stories over the last 7 days. Let's turn to the next tab that contains information about reach. In this tab, a user will get to see the data about how people discover a channel. In this section, there are impressions, views, and unique viewers, and impressions through rate. In general, how many people got interested in watching your content by looking at your video cover, how much they clicked on it, and for how long they watched your video. This section deals with how many people were attracted by your channel's design, your video covers, channel, description, and so on. In the Reach tab, you'll see some prominent reports that cover a channel's traffic source type, how viewers find your content, suggested videos, traffic that your channel received from suggestions to watch your video. The next section YouTube Analytics focuses on is engagement. This tab shows the time that your audience spent on watching your video on average. There will be reports considering your top videos and playlists, videos by end screen, top end screen element types, and posts over the last 28 days, also showing likes and dislikes. What about the audience tab? It categorizes the audience that is watching your videos. In particular, the most important information shown in this section is mostly connected with returning and new viewers, unique viewers, and subscribers. 
There will be also some reports about your audience's online activity for the last 90 days, when your viewers are on YouTube, their age and gender, your audience's geography based on IP address, other videos and channels your audience watched, users categorized by subtitle language. Finally, the last section, Revenue. On this tab, you'll get an opportunity to track your earnings on YouTube. The key factors that are shown here are estimated revenue and its resources, top earning videos, ad type, transaction revenue, and monthly estimated revenue. Now you know what is included in each tab of YouTube Analytics, but to which metrics should you pay more attention? Here are six key metrics that are important. The first one, average view duration length, that is displayed in seconds and minutes watched. Then, views and unique viewers, to see how many times your channel was viewed. Then, impressions, it will help you understand which video covers in other words, thumbnails worked in YouTube algorithms as well. Traffic source type will help you to identify where your audience comes from, like suggested videos, YouTube search, channel pages. Also, pay attention to demographics indicator to understand where the biggest percentage of your audience is. And the last one, revenue, is crucial to track in case you monetize your content to see how you're doing on the platform. So in this video, we've illustrated and defined what YouTube Analytics tool is exactly, its main methods and features, and what should be taken into consideration. The aim of this tool is to help a user to improve the performance of the channel by examining the data of five main metrics. We hope this information was helpful for you and we thank you for your attention. Diana was with you and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below if you have them. We'll meet very soon. See ya!